Good afternoon again, everyone. And I'd like to plant the culinary training for the hospitality center. Those plants from the government and private here with us today. And we'd also like to welcome again members from the Philippine Hotel Owners Association. Thank you for your continued support and participation in our trainings and project activities. So before anything else, let's all pause for a moment for a quick prayer. A few house rules um, before we start. So please kindly mute your mic um, for the consideration of other participants. And uh, there will be time for an open forum later for you guys to ask your questions. So please note them down in the chat box or in the Q&A um, for your convenience. And this meeting is being recorded for documentation. And uh, just for everyone's information, the participants will be receiving uh, post-training handouts or um, modules and the recording of the training. So um, without further ado, I'd like to give the floor once again to Mr. Albert Magalang, Chief Environmental uh, Management Specialist from the Climate Change Division of the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. Uh, Mr. Magalang, you have the floor. Yes, uh, thank you very much, Andrea, for that introduction. In a way, a pleasant afternoon once again to our participants, especially for to the members of the Philippine Hotel Owners Association Incorporated. And I also understand that we have also participants coming from uh, who are hotel and restaurant chefs and caterers. So um, welcome once again to the, to the second day of this um, event on uh, the virtual plant-based culinary training for the hospitality sector. So once again, um, in behalf of our director, uh, engineer <coughs> William Pugnado, uh, and the director of the Environmental Management Bureau of the DNR, uh, first and foremost, he would, he would like to thank um, the Philippine Center for <coughs> Environmental Protection and Sustainable Development Incorporated and the Humane Society International for organizing this training, which um, which is envisioned to promote sustainable consumption and production in the Philippines. So um, we understand that uh, this training, the plant-based culinary training, would support the transforming, uh, transforming tourism value change uh, chains projects roadmap for low carbon resource and resource efficient tourism in the Philippines promoting more sustainable food systems in, for our hotels and mice establishments. So, and uh, the DNR would also like to highlight that, that this training will also support the plant-based program of the DNR 
as uh, we all know, reducing meat intake can mitigate greenhouse gas emissions overall. So uh, we would like to emphasize that um, this um, activity is related to climate change uh, mitigation and climate change adaptation as well, because um, UN, or I mean, those countries who are parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change uh, has uh, recognized the need to transform the way we produce and uh, consume food, uh, more sustainable practices in the food industry and more climate friendly dietary habits are essential in order to achieve the objectives of the Paris uh, Climate Change Agreement and the Sustainable Development Goals. So um, at the same time, we also have to note that the effects of climate change are threatening global food security as climate change is making it more difficult to grow adequate food for rapidly growing populations. So this uh, kind of activity would um, have a good, uh, a, a good contribution or a meaningful contribution to this global goal to mitigate climate change and to adapt to the, uh, to the effects of climate change. So the, uh, the Environmental Management Bureau, the DNR would uh, once again thank our partners from uh, the Philippine Center for Envi Environmental Protection and Sustainable Development Incorporated, as well as from the Humane Society International, uh, which, uh, who are our partners in promoting sustainable consumption and production in the Philippines. Thank you very much once again to the participants and uh, please enjoy your sessions, which would focus on um, uh, creating delicious plant-based uh, recipes. And also thank, I would also thank the, to the uh, hotel and restaurant chefs and caterers who are, all, who are with us this afternoon. Thank you and uh, good afternoon. Thank you very much, uh, Sir Albert, for that welcoming uh, speech. Uh, I would also just like everyone to know that um, Sir Albert also sits at our Philippine Stakeholders Advisory Group, and we are always very much appreciative of your continuous support, Sir Albert. Thank you, Po. So before we begin the cooking sessions, I'd just like to give a quick recap of what we talked about yesterday. Uh, we started by introducing our project, Transforming Tourism Value Chains from the Philippine Center for Environmental Protection and Sustainable Development and the Campaigns of Humane Society International, uh, which seeks to, sorry, which seeks to um, protect all animals through science, advocacy, and education. And both organizations have partnered together in an effort to encourage our hospitality and food service industries to adopt more sustainable food value uh, systems through plant-based programs which this training supports. And we learned from our nutritionists, Mr. Jake Andal and Ms. Luci Calienta, that shifting to plant-based diets not only improves human health, but also helps the environment. And aside from the positive health impacts, such as reduced risk of heart disease and cancer, we also learned which types of plant-based food give which nutrients that we need daily and that it is important to have a complete balanced and varied meal when coming up with our meal plans. And we also learned more about being vegan in the social context, um, how to talk with focus about being vegan to our uh, families and friends and even getting our little ones to go vegan. So today for everyone's information, um, since most of you attended the session yesterday, we will be skipping over uh, introducing the Transforming Tourism Value Chains project and Humane Society International. And we'll be going straight to our cooking demos from our plant-based chefs who will teach us how to make meat alternatives and egg and dairy-free dishes. So I hope you will all enjoy this session as much as I will. And I will now give the floor to Mr. Uh, Aduin Joseph Alcantara to introduce the Humane Society International plant-based chef. Over to you, Mr. Uh, Alcantara. 
Yes, hello everyone. So it's a bit of a rainy weather right now where we are. Uh, we are currently in Cavite and uh, hopefully uh, we'll have a good connection with regards to the culinary training. Again, I would just like to remind everyone, uh, if ever you would need some recipe development in your hotels or restaurants, then we would be free to, to go to your hotels and restaurants to help you have more plant-based uh, menu in your uh, restaurants and also in your hotels. So first off, for our uh, meat alternatives, we have Chef Marie Isabel Tomas. Chef Marie is actually a chef and owner of Antojitos, a plant-based food service provider. And she is also a plant-based recipe developer. So without further ado, I'll turn you over now to Chef Marie. Hi guys, welcome to your uh, plant-based culinary training for today. Uh, we will be having the meat alternatives. Okay, so I have prepared two dishes for you. We have the tofu scramble and the saba burger patties. Okay, so for the first recipe, uh, let's proceed doing the tofu scramble. As we all know, uh, egg is very high in protein. So this simple recipe is... Uh, be, uh, the best alternative for your uh, breakfast egg. Okay, so let's go over the ingredients. So we have garlic and onion, um, crumbled tofu. Um, for this recipe, I used uh, firm tofu, but if you want your scramble to be creamy, you may use uh, silken tofu. Okay, for the seasoning, we have salt and pepper. And then turmeric powder for the uh, color. We also have black salt for that eggy flavor. Okay, so let's start. Turn on our stove to medium low heat. Let's heat our oil. Let's just wait for it now. Yeah. Okay, so let's add in our onion and garlic. The garlic is about one tablespoon, but we, we Filipinos love garlic, so as much as you want, okay? Let's just wait for our onion and garlic to cook for about two minutes. Um... You can also use vegan butter. Vegan butter uh, are now available from mga grocery stores. Uh, there's a good brand called Nutelex. Um, you can use it instead of oil to add more flavor to your tofu scramble. Okay, and then you can now add in our scrambled tofu. So, essentially, our tofu is cooked naman na since na-steam siya. Steam naman ang tofu natin. So, cooking time, siguro mga 2 minutes lang before we add in our seasoning. Okay? Okay, at this point, you can now season it with salt and pepper. And then adjust na lang later. Okay.
Okay, now, to get that yellowish color, uh, we'll add in our turmeric powder, but not too much kasi uh, turmeric has a very distinct taste. So you don't want that naman to your, to your egg. Okay, let's add it in. Just enough to color your tofu. There we go. Now, if you want to enhance the flavor of your egg, you can also add um, nutritional yeast. Um, it will enhance the flavor. It has like a parang cheesy uh, taste to it. Uh, they, it's also available sa mga specialty stores. Okay. Let's cook that a bit. And then we will now add in our black salt. Um, black salt, it will give it the um, eggy flavor. Uh, this is uh, maalat. It's salty, so you have to be very care careful. You just want to incorporate the eggy flavor to your scramble. This is available from mga Indian stores and also on your selected specialty stores. Okay, siguro mga half a teaspoon will do. Okay. Okay, amoy. It, it smells like egg in here na. Okay, so fire off. I prepared here, I have here a uh, sliced uh, kulitis or uh, spinach tagalog, but you can use whatever uh, herb that you have in your pantry for garnish. So this is basically done. Let me put it, let, then put it in a nice plate lang. Clean up. And there you have it, your tofu scramble. Okay. So now let's proceed to the to our next dish. For our next dish, I'll be doing um, saba, saba burger patties with mushroom gravy. Okay, so the ingredients that you need are, of course, we need the saba. Uh, we also need onion, garlic, and then um, a minced uh, bell pepper. We also need the mushroom, of course. And then cornstarch and flour for our binding ingredient. And then mushroom stock. You can also use vegetable stock and soy sauce, of course, and vegetable oil. Okay, let's start by preparing our um, banana peels, saba peels. Okay. So you just have to boil it for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes until it's soft, okay? And then, i chop lang natin siya. If you guys have um, 
food processor at home, uh, go ahead and use it. Kasi medyo matagal pag mano mano. Okay, so we chop it. Okay. And we transfer everything into a bowl. Nag, nag pre chop na ako last night. So, there you go. And then, we add in, oh wait, uh, let's put oil na to our pan for frying. Okay. And then we add in everything, no? Uh, we add in our onion. We add, we add in our minced garlic and our bell pepper. For the binding ingredients, cornstarch and flour. Salt and pepper. Okay, make sure to mix everything well. Okay, let's add in uh, a bit water. Mga one tablespoon muna. Okay. Until mabind siya. So the consistency that you are looking for um, is parang similar to a burger patty. So dapat firm. Okay? Okay, so I think this is ready. Okay, let's form it into a ball. Get about uh, two tablespoons. Then we will form it into a ball. Then we will put it. Okay, let's start by trying it. Okay. Okay. So while that's stirring, we can now proceed to making our gravy, mushroom gravy. So for the mushroom gravy, Okay, let's put oil in our saucepan. We will need we will need a mushroom, a mushroom and onion. Okay, so let's just wait. Okay, so we add in our onion to so saucepan. You can also use uh, butter instead of. Uh, Vegan butter instead of oil for more enhanced flavor. And then we add in our mushroom now. Okay. Saute it for about two minutes. Or until uh, the mushroom absorbs the moisture. Okay, let's check in to our patty. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, we also need uh, flour for our mushroom para mag chicken ng ating gravy. Okay, I'll just get a flour. Okay, so for the flour, we need about a tablespoon. Okay. Which you can now put right now. Very important to add it at this moment. Because if you add it later, um mag form sa ng lumps. And you wouldn't want and you wouldn't want that naman on your gravy. So let's cook it let's cook it a bit until mag measure brown. Let's check in our patty. Okay, so it's medio dry na. When you're out of moisture na, you can now add in your mushroom stock. Or vegetable stock. This is about one cup of vegetable stock or of mushroom stock. Okay. And then let's just wait for it now to thicken. We will reduce it a bit. And then if it gets too thick, you can add in water. Oh, and for added flavor, we can put a tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, let's wait for it to boil. Looks like our sabapati is almost ready. Actually, I have prepared na a cooked saba. So it would look something like this. So it's very similar to your uh, regular burger patty. Okay, so we will just wait for our gravy to thicken. Okay. okay. I don't know if you can see, but the color is very similar to gravy. Okay, let's just wait for it to reduce. At this point, um, you can adjust your uh, seasoning. Okay, so we add in salt and pepper. So this will take about um, 10 to 15 minutes to reduce. But if you're happy with the consistency, then we can go plate. Okay. All right, it's done to me.
Baby. In four hours, finishing touch. Actually, you can add whatever herb you like, but for me, I'll use uh, toasted garlic. Yeah. There we have it. Our Saba burger patty with our mushroom gravy. So again, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to um, type in your questions. Thank you so much. So thank you, Chef Marie. If ever you have questions, then uh, kindly feel free to write it on the Q&A section. And for now, we'll just have around a five minute break to prepare the ingredients and materials for our next chef.
So hello again, everyone. Uh, we'll be resuming now our culinary training. And next up, let me just uh, share the screen. Next up is Chef Alvik Wai Ong. Uh, chef Alvik is actually the lead chef of iVegan Restaurant. And he will be demonstrating actually egg and dairy-free baking and also dessert recipes. So I'll turn you over now to Chef Alvik. Good afternoon, everyone who are watching at home. Uh, first, first of all, I want to thank HSI for giving us the opportunity to share what we are most passionate about. And that is plant-based cooking. It's not only good for your body, but also good for the environment, for health. So let's start. Starting to. Uh, King the leche flan. Here are the ingredients you need for leche flan: white sugar, agar agar powder, also known as seaweed, seaweed powder. It it helps to bind the ingredients together. Soy milk, coconut milk, vanilla extract, and cornstarch. Only six ingredients. So let's start. First, we caramelize the white sugar. Add in the white sugar to the llanera. Evenly, evenly, make sure it's even at the bottom. There you go. This, about, this takes about two to three minutes to caramelize. Just be patient, no? While waiting. So it's turning brown. There you go. Once it caramelized, set it aside and let's prepare the cream so molding so so cup of you want the agar agar powder Arch. Corns the sauce for the base, the cream. Add in a drop. So stir long to take in the base. This takes about four to five minutes to thicken. Bring it to a boil. Keep stirring lang, no? Kasi baka mas sunog yung ilalim. So traditionally, yung leche flan, may eggs and ano, no? Eggs and heavy cream, so we omitted that obviously. So let's wait it to boil.
Yan, medyo malapit na. Keep stirring the pot. Okay, Christmas season na, no? so for sure most of you will make this dessert. So why not make it plant-based to make it healthier? So once it thickens, lagay na natin sa llanera. Or the molder. Oops. Be careful, no, very hot to. So, there you have it. Medyo working tayo with limited resources, no? So, I pre-made the leche flan. And ito yung magiging itsura niya. This. Parang ano talaga, parang walang difference sa traditional leche flan. Let's taste. Let's taste if it's good. Almost the same. Almost the same. Very creamy and custardy yung texture. So I see no difference. So please go with the vegan leche flan instead of the traditional one. So next, uh, breakfast muffins. You're gonna need a bowl, a mixing bowl and a whisk. And of course the muffin pan. Thing magiging ano. So let's start by Mixing all the dry ingredients together, one cup of flour. Make sure it's sieved, no? Para hindi kalampi yung texture ng ano, muffin. Baking powder, this helps to rise the bread, the dough. Uh, one cup of sugar. Rolled oats. Kaya siya tinawag na breakfast muffin siguro. Kasi may rolled oats. But you can substitute the rolled oats to any ingredient you want. Pwede mong gawin blueberry muffin. It's up to you. So itong flax. Flax. Flax meal or gram flax seed. Kailangan mo siya lagyan ng tubig. Para maging egg-like texture. So keep, stir mo lang for about, yan. hintay mo maging yung consistency niya maging ganito, medyo maging malapot. Parang egg talaga siya. Yung texture niya magiging egg. So this helps bind the muffins. So add natin yung one cup of vegetable flour, uh, vegetable oil, I'm sorry. Then the plant-based milk, soy milk, or you can use any plant-based milk you like. Pwedeng almond milk, no, but I prefer soy milk. There, whisk it. Make sure haluin yung mabuti to, ah. so you want to distribute the flavor evenly. I forgot. Add the flax egg. So, whisk, whisk. Gumahalo mo siya. Mabuti. There you go.
muffin pan, make sure it's ano, Teflon para, para hindi siya mag-stick on the bottom. So, let's scoop the batter. Depende sa'yo kung gaano kataas mo gusto, no? But... I want the muffins to be tall, so pinupuno ko siya. Okay. So wipe lang natin yung tray before putting it in a oven. So kailangan mo i-preheat yung oven para even siya maluto. So as like I said, uh, we are working on a limited resources today. Okay, so, i-bake mo siya for 20 minutes inside the oven. So, pa paano malalaman kung luto na yung muffin? Take it out in the oven and make sure you stick a toothpick on it, on the muffin. Pag lumabas siya clean and medyo dry na yung toothpick, ibig sabihin luto na siya. So, ito yun. Muffin. Same. Same. Let's try. Try. Sarap. Sarap. Uh, difference. Difference. Uh, for the pancakes one. Uh, To go uh, if you have questions please uh comment down below and let's go plant based uh, to make plant dishes always go for it All right, thank you for that, uh, Chef Alvik. Um, so now that we've seen the cooking demos from our two chefs, uh, Chef Marie and Chef Alvik, uh, we will now be taking questions, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Sir Edwin. We can start with the first, actually we only have one question so far. But feel free to uh, write down your questions in the chat box if you have any um, other clarifications for our chef. Um, so can you use root crop for the burger patty? And if yes, what will it be? I think that one is addressed to um, Chef Marie. Chef Marie. I think they are experiencing some technical issues at the moment. Hi, Chef Marie. Hi, Andrea. Hello, po. Um, uh, yeah, one, uh, no, one participant asked lang daw po, um, uh, mm -hmm. if you can use root crop for the burger patty, and if yes, what will it be daw? Root crop? 
Hmm. Is it full stop? Yeah. Uh, yes, actually, you can also use kamote. Yeah, he can also use kamote. And also uh, beans. Beans. Beets and beets. Hello, Andrea. Can you hear? Beetroot. Yes, so. hmm. Yeah. You can use kamote and beetroot as uh, alternative for the saba. All right. And then, mm -hmm. and then same process, uh, flour, cornstarch as the binder, and for the flavoring, uh, onion and garlic. Yeah. Okay, thank you for answering the question, Chef Marie. Um, thank you. We, we can now open the floor to other questions. Um, maybe our participants would have um, other clarifications regarding the recipes. Uh, you can just type it in the chat box or in the Q&A for your convenience. So if there are, oh, we have another question um, from John Michael de la Cruz. What can be the alternative though for egg? Uh, any of our chefs can answer. Hello, Andrea. Yes, chef. Hi, uh, okay. Depends kasi on where to use it, but for baking, uh, you can use flaxseed. Uh, bale, you ground siya yeah. and add water, and then you'll get the uh, consistency of the egg. So, medyo sticky. One tablespoon. Uh, mga one table. One is to one. One. One is to one ang ratio. So, one tablespoon flaxseed, one tablespoon water. Also, flaxseed. Uh, yeah, flaxseed. Also, um, if you have access naman, they're available sa stores. It's called egg replacer. It's like flour, ang texture niya. And then you'll just mix it with uh, water. And then you, you'll also get the consistency. Also, um, you can also use applesauce naman. Um, it's pureed apple. And... Uh, with water, pureed apple with water and sugar. So that can replace also the egg. Also, we have banana, mashed banana. That's a good also, uh, rep that's also a good replacement for egg in baking. Mm, okay. Pero if like you're, for example, you're making scrambled eggs or, or something, you can't, you can't really make, you can't really use, um, uh, banana or apples because it will right. be right. sweet, right? So okay. I think I also saw the black salt uh, alternative. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Would you also recommend using that? Yes. Uh, okay. If naman for if you want to make a vegan scramble, plant-based scramble without tofu, you can use chickpea flour instead of tofu okay chickpea flour and then same process add in the black salt and then you will get the actually that's what we use to make omelette naman chickpea flour for the recipe i made kasi it's for to, uh, scramble so i use tofu but if you want to make um, omelette uh, chickpea flour would be the best option all right. Well, thank you, Chef Marie. Um, we also have another uh, question. What are uh, possible replacements for protein? Uh, I think this was also answered yesterday in our uh, day one uh, benefits of a plant-based diet. But uh, maybe our chefs can give their perspective on this on, on the question to this answer. What are possible replacements for protein? For protein, no, Andrea, uh, magandang replacement is the beans, chickpeas, black beans, lentils, 
yun yun mga ginagamit na replacement for especially for those who are exercising no may mga vegan athletes tayo yun yung ginagamit nila to replace the protein from meat also tofu yeah. tofu is a good source of protein so tofu and uh, lentils mm. if i'm not mistaken and, and legumes, and beans, yeah. legumes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Also, also yung, yung yes. mga gulay, yung mga broccoli, it has protein. Kailangan mo lang damihan yung kain to replace the protein from meat. Hmm, para makompensate po ng, ano, ng yes. portion. Hmm. All right yes, po, ma'am. thank you, Chef Alvis. Um, thank you, Andrew. Another question, uh, is vegan food more expensive daw po? So any of our chefs can answer uh, from their perspective. Uh, hi, Andrea. Actually, uh, here in the Philippines, because we're rich with resources, so also right now, uh, dumadami na yung um, options natin. So I'd say no, it's not expensive because we have more access to gulays, uh, and parami na ng parami ang nag nagta-transition into plant-based diets and uh, we're getting more access actually um, if you need a list of stores of where you can buy your plant-based needs uh, feel free to um uh we we can uh, i can email it to them if they want for recommendations All right. Hello? So thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you for that, Chef Marie. Uh, I think everyone would appreciate um, uh, if we could get a copy from you of a list of those resources. Um, so yeah, we can just uh, uh, take advantage of our of the natural resources that we have here. Um, we have a lot of local fruits and vegetables. So I hope that answers uh, that question. And um, I think. Uh, another question is how much daily protein intake an adult should have. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that was also uh, answered by our by our nutritionist yesterday. Um, uh, but yeah, if if any of you could, if uh, any of our chefs could respond to that, then we'd also appreciate that. How much daily protein intake an adult should should have? For a guy who works out, no, I, I suggest to at least half of your body weight. So if you weigh in 180 pounds, uh, siguro kailangan mga 90 yung protein intake mo every day. Especially if you're active. Yeah. But I'm not okay. an expert on that one. Yes, so okay lang po. Uh, we appreciate uh, that answer nonetheless. Um, if we also have other, any other questions, we'll take uh, one last question, siguro, one last question, siguro, from the audience. Uh, rest assured that you will have um, the recording of today's training and also the recipes that were done today. And um, just a reminder that you can also contact Humane Society International if you want more recipes or you can have more culinary trainings um, in your respect. Hello. Hello, can any Hello? Go ahead. Oh sorry, okay. Sorry, I got disconnected for a bit. My mic got this dis disconnected. So our our last question is what is the difference between ovo and lacto vegetarian diet? Um, can anyone uh, answer this question from our chefs or maybe even Sir Duane? So 
So again, what is the difference between ovo and lacto vegetarian diet? Uh, ovo vegetarian is uh, eggs lang yung kinakain nila. So parang vegan siya, tapos egg lang yung kinakain. And the lacto vegetarian is eggs, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, dairy and vegetables. So pag sinabi mo naman lacto ovo vegetarian, pwede siyang kumain ng egg and dairy and vegetable. Mm, awesome. All right, okay. All right po. thank you Chef Alvik for that clarification. So uh, lacto ovo is both dairy and egg, tama po ba? Yes, Andrea. Okay. All right, okay. Thank you po. Um, so uh, I think we can officially close the uh, question and answer. Um, if you guys have any other questions for our chefs, um, please feel free to email us and we'll definitely um, get back to you on the answers. So if we could, um, if I could close this training, uh, we would like to thank Humane Society International for organizing this training with us. Uh, thank you as well to our plant-based chef, uh, Chef Alvik and Chef Marie for sharing your knowledge and expertise with us. And thank you again, everyone, for attending day one and day two of our plant-based culinary training for the hospitality sector and for making these sessions a success. Uh, we hope you take the time to apply these learnings, not just in your businesses, but in your own lives as well. So please continue to be safe and healthy. And we'll see you all again in our next training. Um, if, if before everyone can leave, can I also take another a uh, picture of everyone. Uh, the gallery view is working already, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, just give us a second to see everyone's faces. Uh, could everyone turn their video on, please? Hi. Okay. One, two, smile. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it, everyone. So thank you again so much for being here with us today. Uh, we'll see you in our other trainings. Thank you and stay safe. Bye.